tonight, dreams really do come true for the youngest person to ever get. I look like I had Down syndrome. An extreme makeover. Is that what people see? It's because her jaw deformity has not only ruined her looks, it could even jeopardize her life. She can't break anything, so it's a choking hazard. A dream transformed into a miracle by a doctor who alters the inner architecture of the human face. The moment of truth is here. A makeover that is truly extreme. Going to fracture her jaw. In every way. More than a dream, a miracle is about to come true. Katie Cox is the first teenager to receive an extreme makeover. Why? Not so much because of her appearance, but rather her life-threatening deformity. At times I felt like, why me? Since childhood, she has been suffering a genetic quirk, a severe overgrowth of her lower jaw. It was like, at first, it was just like, okay, I must just be growing. Maybe this is just a growth spurt and everything else should just catch up. Until that just kept growing and everything else stopped. And the orthodontist told me that I need jaw surgery. Finally, at the age of 18, the growth has stabilized and Katie is eligible for a remarkable surgery. The surgery is called maxillofacial surgery. They're going to have to break my jaw here and move it back and break the top jaw all the way across and move it forward. I've noticed that when I was eating, people would stare. And I don't like having to eat into a, um, bite into a sandwich and everything starts coming out. She's not able to break food with her front teeth. If, she, if you give her a sandwich with a piece of lettuce in it or something, she can bite it and that lettuce will just be in a whole piece. She can't break anything, so it's a choking hazard. At the very age a girl matures into womanly beauty, Katie's deformity makes her feel like an outcast. A doctor um, once commented that I looked like I had Down syndrome. And ever since then, I kept looking at myself in the mirror and saying, like, Do, is that what people see? I always feel like I'm the odd man out. You know, when I look at myself, it's like, oh, yeah, you know, an 18-year-old who has acne, who wears glasses, and has had braces on for six years. And I've been called little things like geek and dork and stuff. I think Katie feels that her looks hold her back a little bit. I have never kissed a boy, never had a boyfriend, ne never had a date to like a senior prom or something. And it was always just in my mind, is that, is that how I look? I know that Katie, she's a little bit insecure about her body. Like, you know how most girls are like, oh, I'm gonna show off my breasts or I'm gonna wear something that's like revealing Katie's not that kind of person. I don't like not feeling proportional. <laughs> I want to be able to maybe go out with my friends, just like dance and have fun. You know, I don't feel like I can do that right now. Hey, Kayla, sign in, all right? But then I volunteer and I do everything else that makes me feel good, so it kind of cancels it all out. In her spare time, Katie works at this after-school center for youngsters, where she is never judged and very much loved. If you live your life as woe is me, no one, no one loves me, no one cares about me, you're, you're not going to succeed. And my goal is to succeed and be the best that I can be. So this is why I love her. <laughs> I do love her. <laughs> and so did we at Extreme Makeover, where dreams really do come true. Our uh, mission statement here at the Youth Center is helping kids be all they can be. Especially for deserving so people like, like Katie you. Cox. What I'm about to tell you, I hope will help you be all you can be. Katie Cox, <laughs> really, you're getting an extreme makeover. <laughs> Congratulations, sweetie pie. You deserve it. You deserve it. Good for you. Oh my God. I do think it, the Extreme Makeover will drastically change her life. I think it's just going to boost her confidence through the ceiling and all the attention that she's gotten from all of this. How wonderful. I mean, for her to see all these people that care so much and, and love her. Right now, I think I'm ready. Yeah, I'm just like, come on, do it. Do it now. I'm just like, yeah. We love you, Katie. Ahead. A medical miracle. She's just going to look so fantastic. An amazing reveal. I felt like I owned that room. Katie travels to Long Beach, California for a workup with a renowned surgeon who specializes in jaw reconstruction. Hi, Katie. Hi. I'm Dr. Siligi. Very nice to meet you. 
Mandibular hyperplasia is a condition where the lower jaw grows farther forward than the upper jaw. Katie, open for me. Great, bite down. Your lower lip is probably about an inch farther forward than your upper lip. This is an x-ray we took of your face. Everything is just way too far forward. This is reconstructive, not plastic surgery. What we're going to do is make two very small incisions inside your mouth. Dr. Silligi will actually have to rebuild the infrastructure of Katie's lower face. Once we do that, we'll be able to push their whole lower jaw backwards, and we're going to hold it in place with some little tiny titanium screws. What we need to do is move it back here so those lower teeth nestle nicely behind your upper teeth. We're going to take great care of you. You're just going to have a fantastic result. I can't wait. Thank you so much. And then, the incredible transformation I'm so it's beautiful. of Katie Cox <laughs> is about to materialize. I think I will miss my old face. It's the night before Katie Cox's jaw surgery. But I think when we have pictures, I can always be like, oh, yeah, I remember that, but look at me now. As Katie contemplates surgery, so does Dr. Silligi, meticulously reviewing the architecture of her face. We've done some tracings off of her x-rays, and I'm just checking those measurements to make sure we put everything exactly where it needs to be. To ensure all goes well in the morning. As Katie's big day dawns, someone is waiting at the hospital. Her mom. I'm actually very nervous. Um, I keep getting these little bursts of anxiety just with anticipation and seeing her. I love you, sweetheart. I love you, too. The best part of the, the surgery is having my mom here. This will be over before you know it. Honestly, you're going to be waking up in just what's going to seem like five minutes. Anticipating it for six years, and then all of a sudden, we're, it's, it's happening, and we're here. I love you. I love you, too. Good morning. You ready? Take care. Thank you. Ready to go to sleep? Sure. As we were putting her to sleep, she got a little teary-eyed. I asked her if she was upset, and what she really felt was finally, after all these years, the moment of truth is here. You are about to witness a truly extreme surgery. What we're going to do now that Katie's uh, asleep is just make a very small incision inside of her mouth. I'm going to fracture her jaw. It is. And now what we're going to do is just gently separate this and find that little nerve that runs down the middle. Most of the patients that undergo this procedure will have some numbness of their lower lip or chin. So we're doing everything we can right now to preserve that nerve so that won't happen. As she enters womanhood, I think um, she's going to look normal, she's going to function well, and I think it's going to make a big difference for her. So now's a great time to do it. I'm so happy for her. This is She's been so nervous and, and worried and excited and everything. But now it's finally over for her too, so um, she doesn't have to be scared about the surgery anymore. I can't wait to see her. Katie's jaw, no longer attached to her face, rests totally in Dr. Silligi's hand. Afterwards, she's going to be right like so. She has three titanium screws on each side rigidly holding those segments together. So the final little step is to check to make sure that her jaw works correctly and that her bite is stable, right on the button. In about a month, we're gonna get her braces off. She'll go over to Dr. Dorfman. He'll prep her teeth for veneers. And in six weeks, she's gonna be an entirely different person. I got you. Good job. Okay, it's amazing. You look so beautiful. Oh my God, I can't wait to see it. It's just amazing. More than amazing. A miracle. And wait till mom sees her little girl. I couldn't breathe. All grown up. It's been three weeks since surgery. Katie. Hi. Look at you. You look fantastic. <laughs> How are you feeling? I'm feeling really good. My Katie's goodness. cracked jaw bones have knit, and she will look at her new face for the first time. Are you ready to see what things look like? I'm ready. Here we go. Oh my gosh. Still works. I know. Oh man, I, I still have to, I have to get used to this and not used to it. This is what it used to look like. It's so, I can't even believe it. It's the first thing I thought of when I got my bandages off was, 
I look normal. I look like everybody else. Thank you so much. With Dr. Silagi's work complete, a babe. <laughs> Just ahead. Eight weeks ago, Katie had a dream. Because of her jaw deformity, she just wished for me to feel normal and for me to feel comfortable with myself. To be a typical teenager. Tonight, she is that and more. I have the perfect jaw. I can honestly say this is the first time I felt pretty. Her mom, her sister, her friends are gathered at the Garden Room Wedding Chapel and Banquet Facility. I've tried to imagine what Katie's going to look like, and I think I'm just going to be blown away. She's told me she's turned a few heads. Like, oh my gosh. My mom is like my hero. So I'm just excited to see her reaction because her little girl is not a little girl anymore. I heard that she went from a size 12 to a size 6, and she's going to have a six pack. <laughs> I'm jealous. <laughs> For my reveal, I'm wearing jeans and two tank tops and a jacket with some really cute heels. I'm 30 pounds lighter and 40 inches gone. Katie's dream about to come true. I feel like this is my moment. The biggest step I could ever take in my life. walk down those stairs, I first saw my mom. Her jaw dropped. Once I heard the crowd, saw everyone's faces, I felt like I owned that room. My body just kind of shut down. I couldn't breathe. Just completely blew me away. It was nothing like I had expected. She's gorgeous. Very much the woman. There's still a child in Katie. When I got to hold her, I did not want to let her go. I haven't had a, a hug like that for so long. My mom has been there through everything. So having her not be there for these eight weeks is hard. I will miss the old face, because I love that Katie. But this new face is so gorgeous, and her personality is still there. She's just as sweet and kind and wonderful as she always has been. And Dr. Silagi views his masterpiece. She has this new confidence that uh, really was amazing to see. Emotion started flowing out, and I couldn't control it. Her transformation, just shocking. And as for her pretty friends... I don't feel like I'm the odd man out anymore. I just fit in, and I'm pretty. And here's why Katie feels so pretty. She received reconstructive jaw surgery, lip repositioning with filler, topical acne therapy, skin medical peel, acne peels, braces removed, gum repositioning, six Da Vinci porcelain veneers, and contact lenses. Katie shrank 30 pounds and 40 inches. Katie, once disfigured, now jaw dropped.